Alright. I'm going to have a look at the guys over here. Show you some of the old shit that I did. Okay, now that is some of the uh, new wiring loom that I put through the firewall there. See, it has kind of a custom connector that uh, works up. I do have some of those uh, connector parts, but I decided to drill right through those and just pass the wire right through. Way easier. You see the uh, covers are not mounted, so I got some uh, warnings there to remind me. Anyway, let's go have a look inside. rectangular steering wheel very sexy and cracked sexy and cracked at the same time now behind this um, amp meter is uh, a bunch of wiring but what is uh, kind of Chrysler Dodge unique I guess is that uh, the, the main battery and also the alternator um, uh, feed uh, come back in behind this gauge and that was what um, last year was uh, stopping me from starting the car it was all totally melted back in there it's all like you know about as high voltage as a uh, car wiring gets and uh, so I had to pull the you know the instrument panel off and um, get behind there and, uh, and and wire around that so really I didn't need an alternator gauge anyway but um, yeah that's that's where it all went bad and it turns out that's a completely common thing in this uh, era of car anyway so having wired around that uh, everything was uh, everything was good I wired the alternator directly uh, to the battery as it should be, not passing through a gauge like this. And um, uh, put some um, inline fuses in and, and such like that that were missing because uh, they probably would have burned out in the in the engine compartment rather than um, burning out behind this gauge. So that would have been you know the way to go. It's kind of a link fuse that I have uh, going on in there. I've uh, disconnected this um, heater, uh, whatever defrost unit. It's it is no longer. In fact, you can see down there some of the uh, disconnections. Also, um, uh, disconnected the antenna. I, I deleted the antenna anyway because it was leaking in there so no uh, no radio action anymore did replace the ignition switch early on because it was physically fucked and um, yeah the new one works great I think it was like 20 bucks originally I thought that these miles might be wrong 37703 but if we have a quick look at the, uh, I'm not sure if it's too dark down there. If you have a look at the uh, brake pedal, not a whole lot of wear on that sucker. And no evidence of it having been replaced. So I don't know now. Even the gas pedal has some like grass on it and shit from me getting in. But uh, I don't know. Uh, that, that, that's pretty, uh, that's a pretty unused brake pedal. So perhaps the, uh, 37703 is actually uh, for real. There's the uh, Windsor badge. Proud Canadian car. Lighter, of course, very important. 
Here's the uh, push button transmission. You got reverse, neutral, drive, second, and first options. And uh, this is a bar that uh, kind of locks the, uh, uh, you know, locks it in a neutral. Then you have to use the, uh, uh, the parking brake uh, to uh, hold it all together. I'm not 100% sure, but I think this parking brake isn't necessarily a, a, a brake on the rear wheels. I think it uh, breaks the transmission. At least that's what I've been reading, anyway. The temperature gauge actually does work. Um, the gasoline gauge does not. Not at all. Uh, either the gauge or the sending unit is totally screwed. Uh, lights work. Uh, the wipers do work, although um, I've only got the one wiper up. Uh, luckily it's on the driver's side. Here would be where the uh, passenger side wiper be. Uh, inside the car here. It's uh, it's all stripped out and it, it, it wouldn't turn anyway, so I took it off. Uh, this uh, Sun visor, pretty nice. But the one on the other side has uh, some stitching issues that I'm going to get the uh, wonderful sister to help me with. And, um, yeah. Left compartment. Bunch of fuses in there, which is always a good sign. You know, you know what that means. Um, yeah. Papers, more fuses. And, uh, we swing around. You know, I got a nice bench backseat here. You can, totally a fuckable backseat. But if you look at back in the thing there, we're starting to get some, like, dead flies and, and, uh, wasps. Shit like that have died in here. And the speaker grill uh, area there has uh, been warped by the sun. So, lots of heat, you know. That's the way it is. And here we've got the uh, main column here. A Reisler. I'm going to give a brief uh, toot on the horn here. One sec. Oh, maybe not. Yeah. It's a manly horn. Anyway, yeah. It has to do with the uh, repairs from last year and just a general look around. Talk soon.